Hello everybody, welcome back to Atlas, back in with another episode, part of the Shadow Keep campaign. So this is the Nightmare Cometh. We've beaten two of the bosses. If you want to check out those videos, you guys can. And first thing you want to do, head over to Destinations tab, go to the moon, and we're located near Hellmouth. This is directly in front of us here with the banner, as you can see. And you can see three of the phantoms. I want to call them ghosts, but their technical name is phantoms. We're going to approach them, and then that allows us to start up this uh, specific campaign mission. And I am live streaming right now while I'm recording this video. I have a link in the description if you guys ever want to come and hang out in my streams. I'm also playing with a buddy of mine named Gun Kid. I'll be talking with him during this playthrough, and I'll also be talking with my live stream. And you can unmute yourself, Gun Kid. Who, me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you. So I hit I hit a hundred on the season pass. When last night? Um, I don't remember. Cruel I think it was after my girlfriend went to sleep. I think I was just doing menagerie because I had to get a full set of armor for one of the for one of the triumphs for the collection room. To enact the rule of evil upon all, were he to have succeeded, we might not stand here today. Incarnate. Fogon. There's no nightmare more fitting for the pyramid to bring forth, and no nightmare more what? fitting for you oh, to slaughter. What was that noise? I heard. I heard treasure. Did somebody say treasure? I think there's loot. I can smell it. Sons, you didn't know how to get what before. Dude, you know this Mr. Beast riddle challenge? No. He said a hundred thousand dollars. Like I've created the world's hardest riddle, and if you can figure it out, you'll win a hundred thousand dollars. He said we've been working on setting this up for months. He's like we're gonna have the video talking about it tomorrow. It, and so he had I a video come out, right? Check this yeah. out. So he's like, alright, so here's the like how you're gonna do it. There's twenty-six different riddles you have to solve, and you're gonna get four different letter codes, uh, or five different codes, something like that. And it's important to have those because you're gonna need to have them if you win. Uh, or in order to win, you're gonna submit that, right? So I started going through it late last night. I'm like, you know, I wanna try and do this. I'm really good with puzzles. I'm solving yeah. them, and I, I look up curiously to see if other people post it publicly, and I'm seeing some stuff. I get to, like, step 10, and then uh, I go across his Twitter account and come to find out that somebody already solved it. He was expecting people to be working towards completing it till like, November or September. He thought it was going to take them that long because they put that much work into it, complexity and everything. Yeah. And somebody ended up solving it the same exact day. All 26 steps. Now, what's interesting about it, too, is that, like, you get a virtual phone during one of the steps, and it's a website. And so, like, it kind of looks like a phone, but the only interactions you can do is if you input the correct next step, right? And it documents yeah. everything, and it looks through your IP address to uh, identify that you actually did the previous step correctly. So it, it's very specific and very advanced. And what ended up happening was a bunch of people joined into Discord groups and they're all sharing with each other like what their thoughts were on this and that and how to do this. And then you uh, right click on a web page and you go to inspect source and you can like skim through and find the answer by using a, a scripting code. And so, by pre so they, yeah. they solved it by pressing F12? No, there was like a very specific code you had to go into console and paste it and it would pull up fail sources until eventually it pulled up the right source. So like for example, he said, uh, hey, congratulations, you passed this step. You now are uh, able to, to access the dictionary app on the phone. And it's like their own custom dictionary app, right? And they're like, yeah. just because go to the word that is 6,969 and tell me that word and so even if you use the scripting thing it would take you like half an hour but if you did it manually you would have to click through 
like next, 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 and you'd have to count it out in your head that you got to the right page. So you'd have to do that yeah. 6,969 times with, oh, basically. And uh, there was another one that had QR codes, and you had to go through like 250 QR codes of scanning them to see if it was the correct link the to do it right. Program. But again, with the scripting code, you could just tell which one of the QR codes was the correct one. Because everything else came up as a, a false response, right? So yeah, he thought it was going to take like months and he was calling it the world's hardest riddle. And to be fair, I agree with other people. It wasn't really that much of a riddle. It was more like who's just willing to endure the most. If anything, it's more like solving the puzzle. Uh, but it does kind of suck that it's like, hey, this part, all you do is just scan the QR codes until you eventually find it. So I'm sure him and a lot of other people are going to be really disappointed. And he went through a lot of work of having it linked to other videos and saying like, hey, you got to, you know, make sure you subscribe to my channel and then check out my Instagram over here. Oh. And it was very smart the way he set it up. It just kind of sad that it all fell through in the same exact day. So angry. Can you believe that? Yeah. The the whole thing where you have to go through the pages like 6,900 times, that's like, that's just like, that's what he did to get famous. You know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah. here's me counting to 40, 425, 420 times, like, you know? Like, so that's why that was a part of it. And I think that's pretty neat that he was like, hey, let's put an Easter egg into, into like, my, uh, my videos in it. Well, here's some other like, stuff that kind of sucked, though. He had a version of Flappy Bird. I didn't see it. I only heard about it in the reports. But the game was, like, broken for some people. Or they're like, hey... You gotta count to 69 seconds and then press the button and you have to stop it at 69 seconds exactly. And so it'd be like 69.000, right? It went all the way to the thousandth digit and you had people that were uh, sending screenshots where they're like literally at 69.000 and it said, oh, you failed, you have to try again. And they're like, I could never get past this step to move on to even attempt to win this because every time I went to it, it kept saying that I failed. Yeah, that's weird. But so speaking of, speaking of like unsolvable puzzles, there's a, I just I read a thing on Reddit that I saw about like, it was like a, today I learned when I think it was that subreddit. It was like, today I learned that there's a sculpture outside of uh, somewhere that an artist made to be a riddle and no one solved it in 40 years you're talking about the cia building right yeah that one yep i read that too yeah, okay let me go and wrap it. up this video real quick okay. it's an interesting article that you're referring to by the way so guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like button if you're new to the channel subscribe to the channel and also i have the link in the description to my live stream so we'd love it if you guys come and hang out on my streams thank you guys so much and i'll see you in the next episode